Yo, what is good guys? DNGL back at it again with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be bringing you guys my Field of Fear player guide. As you guys may have already known or maybe you guys didn't know, Field of Fear dropped earlier today. What this pretty much is is essentially the same thing as the kickoff celebration promo and there is a 92 overall Ray Lewis card as the master. But anyway, we're, we're going to be talking about is the other players you know the which master you guys should be going for which gold players are particularly good and which base elite players are particularly good so let's start off with the golds and we are going to completely ignore every gold under 75 overall because i feel like that is completely irrelevant at this point we're going to go straight into the 75 plus overalls and the first person I got a shout out is Marcus Mariota, who's got a very, very good card. Nice, solid upgrade from his base, uh, from his base gold card, 77 speed. And as you guys can see there, his throwing stats are all very, very well rounded, so extremely usable. Next up, we got 79 overall Philip Dorsett, 84 speed, 81 XL. In terms of gold wide receivers, 84 speed is about the fastest you'll get. I believe the fastest is like 85, but 84 is pretty damn close. And Philip Dorsett, you know, he's pretty he's pretty good. He's a uh, he's like a really high overall gold wide receiver. So if you guys want a little bit more of a you know of a cheaper player, but still don't want to lose out on too much overall, because I know that the jump from 79 golds to elites are quite high. You know, Philip Dorsett is gonna be your guy because he's got some very very respectable stats right there and next up is Matt Breda very good card I know a lot of people have that Alvin uh, that Alvin Kamara but Matt Breda here his 83 speed and 81 XL so in terms of gold halfback he is definitely one of the fastest all right so next we're going to go on to the base elites and all the base elites are sort of eh, except for dk metcalf which i think is a very very excellent option for you guys 85 speed 84 excel 82 catch extremely well-rounded card a really great rookie player yeah uh, you know he's got that speed and he's also got a good catching it's good got he has also got good catch in traffic and what is actually really surprising is his strength is extremely high as well for a speedy wide receiver you know usually what you see with the speedy wide receivers is they have really low strength because they're speed orientated but DK Metcalf has 79 strength which is extremely extremely respectable for the wide receiver category all right so next we're we're gonna hop right into the 88 overall masters now if you guys do complete both the master series and the season you guys are gonna be able to choose two of them and I'm gonna be showing you guys which are the best three just to give you guys a little bit of options and we're gonna first start it off with Saquon Barkley 88 overall halfback 87 speed 90 XL Currently, I think Saquon is tied with Bo Jackson the limited edition for one of the top fastest halfbacks in the game but since you can get Saquon Barkley for completely free there's really no reason why you guys shouldn't be getting him because he has a significant speed boost from Alvin Kamara um the only reason why I think you guys might not need Saquon is if you guys already got that David Johnson from the team hero sets because I believe that David Johnson is 85 speed and an 87 speed increase. It's not that significant. I don't really think you guys are going to need to, you know, designate a whole master slot just to upgrade your halfback by two speed. But if you guys are still using that base Alvin Kamara, go on and pick up yourself at Saquon Bark. Next, we're going to talk about is Kyle Fuller, 88 overall quarterback, 86 speed, 86 XL as well with 83 man and 90 zone. You guys already know the drill. Any cornerback with over 85 speed is extremely fast, and he's got really good coverage stats as well. With a highlight on that 90 zone, I believe that he is way better than that um, freaking Stefan Gilmore that was offered in the original X Factor promo. So, if you guys want a good cornerback that's going to be able to shut people down, that is actually worthy of a master slot. Kyle Fuller is an extremely good pick and probably I would say the second best player behind Saquon Barkley and the last player is if I think that you guys you know if you guys don't really need quarterbacks or if you're already happy with your Alvin Kamara or if you already have David Johnson get yourself a D4 because look at these stats guys an amazingly well-rounded card 81 speed 83 uh, power moves 80 
uh, 90 finesse moves so extremely extremely well rounded card usually what you see with a lot of these high power and finesse move card is that they're really slow they are like 70 speed you know it's like 69 speed or some shit like 73 speed but nah d4 has really good speed at over 81 and so this is just a really rare occurrence where you know where you have a fast defensive end that also has good power and finesse moves so d4 definitely don't sleep on him and that's going to be it for the video. Hope it did help you guys out. I'm excited to see what's going to be offered from Most Fear because this is supposed to be, you know, one of the holy, uh, tr holy trinity for the, uh, you know, Mad Mobile promos. It's like Most Fear, Ultima Freeze, and in my opinion, Super Bowl. Some people may say not include Super Bowl, but in my opinion, Super Bowl is the third one. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me. I'm excited to see what is going to go down in Mad Mobile for the future. And yeah, guys, uh... Leave a like on this video if it did help you out. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll see you guys later, guys. Peace out.